In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to sell memberships of your society at the activities fair. All you need are one or two laptops at your society stalls and you'll be good to go. Taking digital memberships at the stall itself would mean that you don't have to handle cash during the fair. This is particularly useful for busier stalls because then you wouldn't have to write down the details of the members in a separate Excel sheet and also maintain a separate mailing list. You'll have all your digital members in one place automatically uploaded to your society's dashboard. You can also use your phone or an iPad for your digital till during the fair. So let's begin by opening a new Google Chrome window, which I've already done over here. The first thing to do is to log out of any accounts that you're signed in. The next thing is to add a Google Chrome extension called incognito mode reset button. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to add this extension to Chrome. Add extension. And after this, you can see that the extension will appear over here. I'm going to tell you the use of this extension later, but we want to be able to sell memberships to members in an incognito mode. So we have to enable this extension in incognito mode as well. So to do that, we click on settings and then go to more tools and then extensions. You can see I have a lot of extensions over here. So just go under incognito mode reset button, click on details and scroll down and under permissions, you can see allow in incognito, just enable that and you'll be all good to go. So the next thing is actually opening an incognito window and there it is, you've gone incognito. So just press Control Shift N and you can automatically open an incognito window. So as you can see that the extension button is over here. The next step is to open the Sheffield Students Union website, which is su.sheffield.ac.uk. After you open the Students Union website, click on sign in for the student to sign in. So if the person is a student of the University of Sheffield, then they can just click on student login and that will take them to the university portal. But if it's a non-student, then just click on the guest login and the person has to create a guest account at the Sheffield Students Union website and then be able to buy memberships of your society. I'm just going to click on guest login. I already have an account, so that's why I'm just going to sign in with those details. So uh, this is my account and I am currently signed in and I'm going to search for my society, which is digital societies. So just type in the name of your own society in the search bar and click on the society after the search results. And then the web page of your own society will appear on the screen. Then just click on join this group. You'll be able to see the different kinds of memberships that you've set up for your society. Select the relevant membership that the person wants to purchase. So I'm going to select the mailing list and click on confirm. So before I click on checkout, uh, this is a mailing list. So that means like you can see the price is zero. So I don't actually have to pay anything. But if the membership was priced at something, then after I clicked on checkout, I would be transferred to a payment portal page where the student would have to just enter their card details. And after the transaction goes through, then this page would appear where it would say your payment request has been processed successfully. Since I didn't have to pay for anything, it just this page automatically appeared. But now I'm a member of Digital Societies and that's how you can sell your memberships uh, with your own laptops during the fair. So once the student is, has successfully purchased your membership, then just click on Logout. 
and before signing in this is really important before signing in for the next person don't forget to click on this extension that's what this extension is used for it's it clears all the incognito history cookies and everything else and all the details of the previous person's login so if you don't do this if you just sign in for the next person then it's automatically going to sign in with the details of the previous person so that's why it's really important to click on this button so that everything gets reset and all histories and everything's cleared out and is it's ready for the next person to buy your membership this is particularly helpful for all societies because then you don't have to upload all your members manually to your dashboard but instead it's getting uploaded to your society's dashboard automatically whenever a student purchases a membership of your society a student can himself just buy the membership on his or her phone a committee member can assist or guide that person through the process it's going to be the same procedure except he or she doesn't have to open an incognito window since the person's going to use their own personal phone so but it's going to be the same procedure just opening the Sheffield Students Union website and searching for your society by logging in their details and just buying the memberships online